Hello guys, well, welcome to Photographics Academy. All right, so today we are looking at a very, we are looking at a very interesting stuff. Okay, so this is an image submitted to us by Tony Charles, photography, an amazing photographer. You can go check him out. He's doing such an amazing work. So this is a wedding he covered. So we asked for submission of images. He submitted this one. And I like this particular image because it has a lot of things I'm going to be using to show you some tips and tricks that you can use to bring your wedding photography to life. So without wasting much of your time, let's get straight into work. So welcome to the world of Photoshop. We are in camera roll right now. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to on my, my highlight clip to see exactly the places that are clipping or you can, have, you can have as well decide not to use it, but I just wanted to use it to see if I'm having so much clipping. So looking at the image, I'm not having a lot of clips. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to drop down the exposure of the image. It's looking a bit too exposed. Then I'm going to go to my mask, select background, so I can drop down the background light a little more. So just drop it down a little like this. Of course, if you want to overexpose it to pull in more attention into your object, you can as well overexpose it if that is the concept you are going for. I even think I love it more than, more than uh, bringing it down. So I'm actually going to take it up. You know what? Just go to the comment section and tell me exactly what you, what you want. But for the purposes of the video, we're going to be dropping it. So we'll have a lot of details to work with. So I'm going to drop in it down a little. Then go back to my adjustment slider. Then I'll open up my shadows so I can get a little more brightness on the object. So if you look at it right now, the background is properly exposed and the object is equally properly exposed. Of course, you can use your brush to bring back details to the dress. You can just go and pick up your brush tool just over here. Come into the mask. Feels more. So come into the mask, go to add. So select brush. So I want to just paint her dress so I can just bring bring down the exposure on the dress like this. So I'm just focusing on her white dress. If you do not like it, you can press Ctrl Z to deselect. I think I don't like what he's doing to the dress. Let me zoom in a little to see it. Okay, so we are here. Uh, it's not a bad one. Those are a little bit too much because we can brighten it up later. Just a quick one to bring in a little more details to the dress. Like this. Okay, so let's zoom out and see what we've done. Go to the exposure. So he's selecting everything. So we're going to remove it. I don't want it on the dress anymore. Like this. Okay, now it's beautiful. Can as well decide to create a new mask to be able to do that. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to create a new mask and repeat the brush like this. Because it was painting on both the background and up on the object. So I just created a new mask just for the dress like this. So we can now individually reduce the opacity, the exposure of the dress without affecting the background. So like this, you can drop down the highlight, you can increase it. So I think I need to lift up the shadows a little to flatten it out a little. Okay, so we are good. So the next thing we'll be doing is to open it up in Photoshop and we'll start our scale reduction. Now, here is the good news. Every single action we are going to be using in this video are all for you free of charge. You are not paying you for it. All you need to do is just to stick till the end so that you can get the password to the actions. All right, so let me open up my action panel. So this is the action we are going to be using right here one minute okay so we are going to be using photographics academy action php so this is a full retouch action pack that starts from frequency separation down to color grading it's a full retouch pack that you need for your retouching and it's going to take your wedding images to the next level of course like i said it's free all you need to do is to stick till the end of the video so the first thing we're going to be doing is to crop in the image i think it's true has too much of a head of the headroom and a lot of that. So we're going to be cropping it by 10 for social media size like this. I'm going to be leaving that frame fall off here. So we'll get an ending for it. Okay, so just press enter. If you think you still need to crop in a little more, you are free to do that. But I think I like it this way. So I'm going to zoom in 
to know if there are blemishes on their face in their little brightness just like this nice okay so i don't think there's it there is any blemish i need to remove it's going to really really mess up the image so the first thing i'm going to be doing is to apply frequency separation so i'm just going to run the action of course in the gaussian blur i'll keep it somewhere around four because it's not quite a high res image so to be able to see exactly what i'm doing i'll keep it somewhere around three keep it somewhere around three then pick up my mixer brush to as of course you know that's what i'm going to be using so we'll just pick up our mixer brush too like this and we'll paint over the image stay on the low frequency keep the settings approximately the same and let's go yes so any other blemish i would want to correct i'm going to do that later in the image but for now by just doing frequency separation so just go around your image like this to get an even skin tone and a nice transition between your highlights and your shadows. All right, so we are done with frequency separation. Let me show you the before and after. So this is before, this is after, this is before, this is after. Sub two changes but significant effect. So the next thing I want to fix is the smoothness of the skin. I think it's too textured. I'm having a lot of irregularities. So I'm just going to flatten this up to avoid getting this complicated. Then I'll go straight in my action and I will select skin smoothening. So I'll go to play it again. So the nine is what determines how smooth you want your image to be at the end of the day. Then for the radius, I'm going to just leave it at approximately two or one point. Now the leave it at 25. After leave the, the dust and scratch at three and 14 and press OK. So, Pick up your normal brush. If you paint this and you feel it's too much like this one, you can as well delete the layer or the group and try it again. Let me apply it as in beautiful. Okay, so I think I got the settings at this point. So the settings you'll be using depends on the type of camera, on the quality of the picture, on some ratios as well. So just clean, your clean them up a little. Don't do too much, make it look realistic. Same thing with the bright. Just smoothly go around the face, the neck, the hand, the cheek. Anywhere you feel there's a blemish or you need to smoothen out, just quickly go back to that side. All right, so we are done with the smoothening. So the next thing I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be applying a global dodging and burning to the image. So I'm going to flatten this up as well to avoid getting stops looking weird. So I'm just going to click on automatic dodge and burn. Yeah, like that. Let's zoom out and see what it did. So we'll have before, we'll have after, before, after. Look at the way it added that contrast to the image. I love it. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to lift the shadow in the man's face too. Take up your hand, the tattoo, and just lighten him up small. Press Ctrl I to invert that selection and paint it over here. All right, so we are done with dodging and burning. Pick one, press. Let's just flatten this up and let's decide to work on the background. So I'm going to select the image, select object. So I want to create a little depth of field for the image using tilt blur to separate them a little bit more from the background. I'm going to select inverse, duplicate this image tool, 
cut the layer out and go to filter sales and blur filter blur gallery and tilt blur so how do you, to use this one is that it allows you blur backgrounds or image with different strengths in different areas different strengths in different areas so i'm going to increase the blurriness so i'll say little got it here blow it out a little press okay i think it's a bit too not matched okay so this is nice press okay let's wait for it and we are to press b to deselect of course if you feel like you do not want this area blurred out you can restore it so that's what i'm going to do I'm going to duplicate this into two then go to my shutter apply the same blurriness and cane and this time around, I'm going to be creating a mask for it. Press Ctrl D, create a mask, and unveil it out with your black brush. Okay, so having done that, I'm going to flatten this up. So the next thing we're going to be doing is to color grade this image. And to do that, we'll be using some actions that we are equally giving you for free. So remember, everything is for free. So we'll try the first action blue and gold I see what it's looking like on the image amazing amazing so this is before this is after I love this except for the fact that it's taking away the blue color on the man's suit which we can get back with just a little mask but let's just scroll through a little more and see other options that we have in our color grading and see if we will stick to any of them or go for that first one because I love it Oh, this is beautiful. This is beautiful. I love the color of the of the palm tree behind her and the color of the bouquet in her hand. So we'll just combine this with the first one, blue and gold. Just do a combination of the two. Oh, this messed everything up. This messed everything up. So what we'll do, we'll just apply it individually, flatten up and apply the second one. To avoid complicating things so i think i love this just drop it down a little like that nice press ok so let's apply the second one let's apply the second one which will be the blue and gold nice i love the color so what we'll do right now is that we're going to create a mask and clean out the guy's suit of course, to do that, you can actually just create a selection of the suit like this. Do a quick selection of the suit. Just like that, and we are good to go. Duplicate this into to create a mask for it. Use it and replace this one. Press Ctrl I to invert the mask. And we are good to meet this one. Okay, so let's zoom out and see what we have. So this is before. This is after. This is after. Of course, we need to drop down the opacity of this one. It's too much. Drop it down like it's nice. Okay, so the next thing we'll do is I will go right into our, our camera raw. We'll create a vignette effect for the image so that we will have a very strong concentration on the image in the center. Beautiful. So we can pull this middle point in a little and lift it up just like that. We can as well decide to reduce the brightness like this, the highlight to put more details in the dress and of course increase the vibrance just a little to get the man's suit back you can decide to warm to warm stuff up like this or even make it look cool or make it look cool or decide to warm it up so i think i'm i'm tilting towards the warm tones today more than the cool tone so let's just tilt towards the warm and press okay press okay so it does the whole job I think this is too much, so we'll just brighten stuff up a little more. Like this, nice, nice. Okay, that was too much exposure though. So one more thing we can do is that we can just go and apply a color lookup table to pull everything together. Let's just see what color lookup is going to give to us. I love this one. Can as well keep going. I love what this is doing to the background. We can delete. You can just select the image and reduce it on the background. I'm just selling out those con concepts. If you wish, you want to try it. I love the cinematic effect that comes with this one. Like, yes, nice. So this is before, this is after. So this is the overall 
before and excuse me, let me locate my history. All right, so this is the overall before and after. So this was the image when we came into Photoshop. And this was the image after they edited. Remember, every single action we are going to be, we are using it, we used in this video rather, they are all for free. One more thing I think I want to do, let me try and see what Photoshop is going to do with that. So I think I want to remove this wall over here. It's been a little bit too distracting. So let me see what Photoshop content aware is going to do with that. It, if it messes it up, we'll just crop it out. So let's just watch and see what Photoshop is going to do with that. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, although it looks, looks weird, it looks weird. But I think I like it. Maybe I could just select the palm tree, especially that area, and just add a little blurriness to it to make that pattern that Photoshop just created to disappear, just like this. So you can feather, you can feather it around the eleven. Apply just a little Gaussian blur over that area. Just a little Gaussian blur over that area. It's somewhere around eleven. Press Ctrl G. And we are good to go. So this was the image when we came into Photoshop. This was the image after all said and done. Thank you for watching this amazing video. Remember every single action here is free. Do make sure to download your own. I believe you've watched till this point. So you've seen the password. Make use of it. Use it on your own images and you will get amazing results. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and ring the bell to remember to be reminded rather every single time we post a new video. Thank you.